It was a day of woe on Wall Street. The Dow had its worst day in two years, falling more than 1,000 points as concerns about the U.S. economy mount. Joining us now is financial expert Terry Savage. Terry, so good to see you. Can you explain to our viewers just what's going on? Well, it wasn't any one thing, but a culmination of a lot of things. Some people say, well, Friday's jobs report was so disappointing, but unemployment didn't climb that much. Uh, we didn't see massive layoffs anywhere. We just saw very few new jobs being created, fewer than expected. That comes after we had some disturbing news about manufacturing. It comes after corporate earnings are disappointed. I mean, when even McDonald's with a $5 value meal can't, uh, can't drum up sales and they have disappointing earnings, you realize that perhaps the consumer's slowing down, perhaps the economy is moving into recession. And that's what really hit the stock market. I think when they look back, people might point to the fact that Warren Buffett was disclosed to have sold half of his position in Apple. It was their largest position. They had mm. huge profits. Buffett has built up quite a war chest of cash before this. So a sense that the smart money maybe was getting out and then everybody piled in. It was global, started in Japan, for some international financial currency movements that happened. And then interest rates came down in the US as money around the world rushed to buy our safe treasuries, and the stock market was just in a massive sell-off from the from the opening moments. So, Terry, would you say this is a blip? Some more optimistic voices are saying that, but others say this is indicative of a looming recession. So, where do you stand on that question? Well, there are plenty of arguments for a recession. There's plenty of evidence that, in fact, the economy is slowing. Um, let's keep the sell-off today in perspective. Today's sell-off was less than three percent on the Dow. I remember standing above the trading floor on Black Monday on October 19th of 1987 when the stock market lost 22.6%. It was only 580 points back then, the market was lower. But 22%, more than that in a day, this is 3%. So in a historical perspective, this is not a frightening crash, but it looks like it could be the start of a significant sell-off over concerns about the economy and over concerns about the fact consumers are already in debt, and we have a lot of evidence that things are slowing down. If you're out there, if you just graduated, you're finding it difficult to get a job. If you have a job, you might be looking ahead to layoffs, and that worries consumers. They stop spending it. It sort of becomes a cycle. And I think you answered our uh, next question. We were going to ask you who needs to be most concerned about this right. situation. Well, if your job is on the bubble, this is not the time to go into debt. There's a bright side to this picture, by the way. Because interest rates came down, the rush to safety to buy U.S. Treasury securities, mortgage rates have come down dramatically from well over 7% just a month ago to down around 6.4%. So if you've been waiting to refinance or if you feel secure about your job and you want to go buy a home, this could be a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. I would like to say something to investors. Um, if you're young and you've got that 401k and you have that index fund, the S&P 500 index, that's where your money is going, please don't worry. Market goes up and down. I've lived through mm -hmm. three bear markets that have cost almost 50%, uh, and yet the market is way above where those bear markets started and ended. So if you're putting that two or $300 a paycheck in to your 401k, keep doing that. Mm -hmm. But for those who are on the edge of retirement or already retired, or need to start withdrawing money to live on or take those required distributions, this is the time to, it's not too late after a thousand point drop, to build up some cash. You don't have to take the money out of your retirement account. You have to move to maybe a money market or a very short term bond fund, something safer inside your 401k so that you can sleep through what could be a, a frightening up and down. We haven't had one for a while mm -hmm. and people panic at the end. I don't want you to panic at the end. America will survive and prosper, and the market will one day be much higher than it is now. It's a question of how is your self-discipline, how can you sleep if you know you need the money and have mm -hmm. a short time horizon? Right. Well, we don't want to panic, and so you've given right. us great advice, Terry, no matter our age or place in life. Thank you for being with us. Thank you.